What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are doing the Moment Card Del P. Loan card that you can get from the Season Objective. But I tell you what, this card looks very, very good. 86 pace, 94 dribbling, 96 shooting, 92 passing, 70 physical. The one thing I would love to improve there is definitely his pace. Now he is 5'9", so he's the meta height. High, medium work rates. Not the perfect attacking work rates for a cam. I do prefer medium, medium. But high, medium, it's not going to be the end of the world. The four star skill moves is going to be very nice on him. The standing scoop turn and the burp spin should feel really good. The five star weak foot is going to allow me to shoot on that left foot with the same animations that if I shot on my right, that I will with my left. And that is something that you love to see now he is on the engine chemistry style he is obviously on 10 chem 92 acceleration 91 sprint speed a very very fast cam and you don't see a lot of cams with that amount of pace now he's got 94 attack and positioning and 98 finishing and 91 shot power he also has the finish shot trait hasn't got the outside finish shot trait or the chip shot trait but the finish shot trait for me is probably going to be enough because the 91 shot power and the 98 finishing should carry that power shot into the back of the net with no problem. Now he's got 96 long shots, 89 forties and 94 penalties. If it comes to him on the edge of the box, I'm banging it because why not at the end of the day? 99 vision, 95 crossing, 99 free kick axi, 97 short passing, 93 long passing and 96 curve. This guy is going to be the heart of the team. He's going to be the playmaker. He's going to be passing it one twos, give and goes, over the top through balls from one to the pitch to completely to the other. And that is a sight you love to see. Now, this guy has 92 agility, which means he's going to be very agile on the ball. But I'm quite surprised a player that is 5'9 has 69 balance. If you add, obviously, an engine, it goes to 79. But still, 79 balance on a 5'9 player. I've, I don't think I've ever actually saw that. But at the end of the day, you know, it, we're going to have to deal with it. 94 reactions, 99 ball draw, 99, uh, 99 uh, sorry, dribbling, and 95 composure. I tell you what, this guy's going to feel very nice on the wall, turning left and right. I'm hoping he doesn't do any falling over animations, but that's what we're here for. We're here to see if he does. Now, he's got 85, 85 stamina, which means up and down the pitch shouldn't be a problem. Now, he's got 66 strength and 61 aggression. He's going to be getting body off the ball. Let's all be fair. Now, today, I have obviously linked him up with Neymar, Suzoko, and Mendy. I've also got the likes of Lucas, Messi, and De Jong in the team. I will be using Delphi in a 4-2-3-1, playing him in that cam role. But I also want to try Delphi in a striker role because I believe you can't let 98 finishing slash 91 shot power go to waste in a cam position. So I will be trying him in a 4-4-2, playing him up front, most likely with Neymar as well. But let's get straight into these games. Now, the one thing we always do when obviously testing out a player is just see how agile they are on the ball. And my God, I can already tell we're in for a treat because this guy's dribbling is insane. Use the strength. Ah, just getting bodied off the ball there. Obviously, he hasn't got that high aggression or strength. So he is going to get bodied off the ball quite a lot. But you saw how agile he was. You saw that Burber spin completely sending Ake for a hot dog. But I'm telling you, this, this card is going to be something else. I can already tell. That's a beautiful turn. Can I get a finish? Oh, that is super, super unlucky to hit post there. But as you can clearly see, I'm starting him off at striker. But then I'll obviously move him into the cam position probably later on. But I really want to see how well this guy does up front. And that's his first shot. It has hit the post, but his turning ability there when I held RB, that instant turn backwards was crazy good. A complete switch of play. Look how beautiful that is. And to say that a quote-unquote striker slash cam can play a ball like that is unbelievable. Especially with his weaker foot. Now, you could argue that he doesn't have a weaker foot, obviously, because he has got that five-star weak foot. Can I get a shot there? Oh. My. God. Now, this was at a disgusting angle. Like, I didn't even turn my body. He just took full advantage, used all his power, used all his accuracy, and has made this shot go both posts and into the back of the net. I'm not gonna lie, I did actually think he was gonna hit both posts and come out, and I was gonna, I wasn't gonna say I was gonna be disappointed because I'm quite, quite surprised he got it on target. But the fact that he scored that, it, that is outstanding. That first time fake shot turn was ridiculously fast. And look at that. Once again, a beautiful switch of play. So calm, so composed. And the fact that he can do it with ease just kind of shows how good of a passer he really is. 
What a run by Del P. Now just use that pace to get in front of Ake there. Come on, I need you a bit faster than that. It's a beautiful pass back stick and an easy finish towards Messi. And obviously, he's not going to miss from there. Now, Del P, he didn't seem the fastest there. Like, I was expecting him to absolutely obliterate Ake there, obviously pace-wise. But he did enough just to get the angle, the RBX all the way to the back stick and giving Messi a wide open chance. That's unbelievable. Oh my god. Come on now. Really? We're really doing this right now? That like that touch and turn was disgusting. And the fact that I did fake him acting like I was gonna do a drag back all the way. I like I'm not gonna lie, I did actually believe this shot was gonna get blocked. And the fact that he's buried that with so much power, so much accuracy behind the shot, and it's making players do that. And that's how serious Del P really is. Oh, that was nice. Oh, come on, go in. Oh, thank God. Jesus Christ. I honestly thought he was actually going to save that. That was super nice from Del P. To do that, like, drag back and then pass the ball. The reason I did it was just to get me the angle and buy time to get that player out of the way so he doesn't intercept the ball. And Del P does it so fast. It is ridiculous. It feels like that I'm not even playing in delay with Del P. And that's how fast his reaction time really is. Flick, over, hit the volley. Oh my God, if he finished that, I'm walking out of this room. It's simple as that. It's a beautiful drag back. Little pull roll. Acting like I'm going to cut onto that right foot. And that is a big miss. Especially with someone that has finesse shot trait. I did 100 expect that, you know, to kind of fly into the back of the net. Now, with obviously Del P, as you clearly can see, the guy thought I was going to do a drag back. And you believe in the guy's obviously, you know, five-star weak foot that a lot of people don't know Del P actually has. But at the end of the day, it didn't go in. And that is something I did not expect. What a run and what a pass. I'm going to hit that on the volley. That is football. It's simple as that. You don't get anything better than that. That pass from Messi was ridiculous. And to take this on a first-time volley, kind of showing how confident I am right now with Del P. Just showing that I believe in him. He's got the ability to do it, and he obviously does. He does obviously uh, come out of it. The amount of shot power, the amount of accuracy that he put behind the shot was ridiculous. What a turn. Oh, come on now. He's at the right place at the right time, and you're not going to get better than that. Messi being committed there with that slide tackle. Very nice. Del P at the right place at the right time. The amount of power and accuracy, once again, behind the shot is really, really good, and it's obviously going to be a finish. What a through ball. So I am playing him in the cam position now. And I tell you what, he's giving me passing options, as you clearly could see there. I'm very unfortunate not to actually get it to him. But the, his passing ability is out of this world. It really is. The over-the-top through balls are so, so precise with, hit, with so much, like, a certain amount of shot power. So it dips fairly quickly. So it's very hard to opponent to kind of get there. And that is something you do want to see. Run, Del P. Come on. There you go. That was super, super good from him, especially from SEN. This guy has made a mistake, though. A little over the top. It's a beautiful pass. Lucas does end up getting on the end of it. But did you see SEN get kind of, I wouldn't say shifted off the ball by Del P, but just held off. And that is a sight you love to see. Oh, my God. If he managed to bury that with the five-star weak foot coming into play, with the amount of power behind that, I honestly thought it was going to probably hit post and in. That has to be a perfect ball, and it really is. Oh, my God. Please go in. It doesn't matter how it went in, as long as it went in. That pass from Del P is one of the best threaded needle passes I've ever done. For, that's like, what, 50 yards, 40 yards? A 40-yard threaded the needle pass across the floor all the way to Messi and not, make it not actually go out of bounds and make it, you know, just stop perfectly in front of Messi to go for the sweat towards Neymar. You could, you know, you could always argue we did get lucky with the goal. But at the end of the day, it was all Del P. Let's all be fair. So it is time to review him. And let me say this card is super, super nice. How agile he feels on the ball. His pace, his dribbling, his shooting. Everything really comes into play. Now, five foot nine, Really, really nice. It kind of 
allows him not to get this, you know, this quote unquote 79 balance animations. And that is a sight you would love to see. Now, the high medium, I do believe medium medium is still perfect for a cam. But this guy can play up front. And that is huge. The fact that a, sh a cam can play up front as well. It kind of shows that in a full 2 3 1, he's going to work perfectly. Because time to time, the cam does switch with the striker. And I wouldn't mind this guy up front. Why not? Because this guy's finishing ability is out of this world. The four star skill moves. I love the Berber spin on him. And he that was clearly my favorite skill. How fast he did it, round players, was insane. The five star weak foot really felt like a five star. I was getting the same animations that I would true with my right that I do with my left. And that is a lovely sight to see. Pace wise, he was a bit slower than I expected. That is something I do I can say. But I wasn't expecting like a person, you know, as fast as Adama Traore or Daniel James because they literally have 99 pace. Dale P, I wouldn't say only has, but he he has 92 acceleration and I'm, I'm kind of used to players like, you know, Neymar to have that really, really high pacey. So I'm probably used to that. And I'm thinking to myself, Dale P was kind of a disappointment on pace. But at the same time, he wasn't really because you don't need that much pace as a cam. Shooting wise unbelievable with both feet the ball was going into the back of the net There were some occasions that I was actually quite surprised that he missed But I would say all the clear-cut chances he did actually score Passing one of the best passes that I have I have used in this game hands down It's simple as that the man of power the how precise it is with the ball the thread of the, the thread of the needle passes It's so so good the dribbling on the ball was insane as well like the nice close quarter dribbling around the corners his stamina was beautiful, lost about the whole 90 minutes. The biggest problem in this card was the strength and aggression. This guy was getting bodied off the ball time to time, but there was occasions that I was shielding off players. And to be able to shield off a player with 66 strength is not a sight you see every day. Now, I have to give this card a rating out of 10. I'll be stupid not to give him a 10 out of 10. It's simple as that. This guy is an end game card. If you guys can afford him, please go pick him up. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.